Hello everyone, this is Brooke and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. I have another haul video for you. This time I went back to Ulta and did some more damage. Not that much, so it won't be such a long video, but I did do damage nonetheless. Well, I'll just get started by going into there. And actually the first thing I want to show you is not from Ulta, it's actually from Sigma. And I'm showing you this because it's my very first Sigma purchase. It is the Sigma brush and it is the F82 brush. I have been on a real brush kick lately and I'm particularly in search of dense foundation brushes or dense brushes that I can use for foundation. And this one got a lot of great reviews. I really love this. It's called the Round Kabuki. Like I said, it's the F82 brush. Looks like this. Very soft, very dense, and I'm really looking forward to applying my foundation with that. So I just wanted to show you that brush. And then as far as another brush goes, I really have been loving the IT Cosmetic brushes. And I showed you in my last Ulta haul that I got um, a few of them. And they've been working out very well, so I decided to get another one. And um, it is this one right here. They come in this great package, you know, a nice little tube that says IT on the bottom there. And then this one is called the... Well, actually, the IT Cosmetic brushes don't really have names, but it looks like this. It's more of a flat top kabuki. They're, all their brushes are extremely soft, and I got this to help me apply the foundation, uh, powder foundation that I just recently hauled in my Sephora video by Smashbox and any other powder foundation. I thought it would be really easy to pick up with the flat top there and smooth out on my face and apply good coverage. So I got that brush from IT. And then I also got another brush set from IT Cosmetics on the Ulta website. It came in this beautiful box right here. It's a uh, nice for gift wrapping. And um, it says, because of you, the world is more beautiful. A little gift tag on there. I thought that was beautiful. But I'm just going to throw that away because this is a gift for myself. And what I got was a little pouch that looks like this. It has brushes in it, but a nice little carrying case for them. Um, there's three brushes on this side, three brushes on this side, and they have the little dividers in the middle, and, you know, it snaps up and it's easy to carry, very, um, like a very soft faux leather, and it is great for traveling, so I'm going to hold on to this case, but on this side, the brushes you get, one looks like a, a flat kind of like foundation brush that I'll use more for applying a, a mask. I don't really like using these kind of brushes for foundation, these uh, flat paddle kind of brushes. But I will use those for masks. And it you know, has this kind of met metallic handle on there, it's very nice. And, and then I also got like a, a fluffy shader brush, it's a big brush. Um, you can either use this for you know, contouring tight areas or what I will use it for is eyeshadow applying shadow all over the eye. Then this one is more of a concealer brush. It's a very small um, version of this foundation brush. Very um, synthetic bristles and uh, it'll be great for blending and concealer down there. On this side of the kit is uh, three more brushes. This one is a nice fluffy soft brush and it will be perfect for applying blush. And then here is a nice blending brush. It is round, very soft, but still dense, and it'll be great for blending out eyeshadow. And then the last one here is, is really cute. It is a um, angled brush on one end, so for doing brow work, and on the other end is a spoolie. So that was really nice to have available. And I think that little kit was about $30, $40, so that is really good when you consider that, you know, one IT Cosmetics brush alone is thirty forty dollars by itself so that was a really good deal if I can find it online still I will put a link to it down below but I'm afraid that that was just like a limited thing but if I do find it I will link it below another thing I ordered on the Ulta website was this palette the Amorizi palette and I'm sure you've seen a lot of it by now it's by Anastasia Anastasia Beverly Hills and it looks like this it's got a great big mirror on the bottom and it's a cardboard packaging. I'll just flip that over, but these are the gorgeous colors. I'm really, really interested in the color caramel. 
I think that will be a great blending color. And then this glisten up there. And then it's got the LBD for a little black dress. And it's got the deep plum and also this beautiful iridescent purple. So I will swatch a few of these. I'll do the purple, the glisten, the caramel, and the deep plum. And just by pressing these on my finger just a little bit, it is very pigmented. This is what they look like on my hand, and I'll swatch it on my arm here. Yeah, very pigmented, very pretty. This is that iridescent purple and um, the plum and glisten and the caramel up, up there. It's blending in with my skin color, which is really good. That means it'll be a great transition color for my eyes. But they're very buttery, very pigmented. I love the colors. I'm not much of a jewel tone color or a lot of color wearing on my eyes, but this will be great to let me experiment with color a little bit more. So I really love this palette. It's only exclusive through Ulta, and I, I ordered it online because it was sold out everywhere I went. Another thing I got was just this little thing. It is the Revlon Just Bitten um, Lip Stain plus the Balm. In my last Ulta haul or drugstore haul, I mentioned that I got my hands on one of these. And I think I found the last one in the city. It was clearance at Ulta and I grabbed it. Now I have the one I'm working on plus this as a backup. It's in the color Crave. And on one side, let me unwrap this. One side is the felt tip pen lip stain applicator and the other side is the balm a clear balm and I'm having a hard time opening this up <sighs> okay the wrap around this was unbelievably unbelievably ridiculous but here is it and this end has the felt tip pen and it's a beautiful color on me. It's like a wine, berry wine color. And it does stain and last all day. And on this side is just a clear balm that sticks out. And it is great for giving a, a, a moisturize, moisturizer and then also making it look um, shiny. <laughs> Next, I also got another palette. It's by It Cosmetics, and I'm really loving It Cosmetics these days. I only see them in Ulta, and I've only discovered them recently. But as for what I can see, they just have some wonderful products. Um, and this is the palette called Naturally Pretty. It's in the light pink box. And I walked by this on the display, and I was... You know, I was like, why do I don't need another palette? But when I touched the color and it was so buttery soft, I kept walking back to it saying, but I need it, I need it. And then I got it. <laughs> so this is the palette. It's a very like faux suede, really soft material. I imagine that it's going to get very dirty really quickly. But it says It Cosmetics and Naturally Pretty on the side there. Very nice. I just, you know, it's one that you really want to hold and touch because it's really great packaging. It opens up in the front here and it's a magnetic closure. And inside it's this beautiful gold. And it's got a nice beautiful mirror that says naturally pretty. And then when you look at the colors, they look like this. Sorry if I'm shining this in your face, but it's they're beautiful. They're all matte. But there is one color over here called Transforming Pearl that you can turn either, all these colors into more of a pearl or a satin finish. And like I said, when I touched them, it felt like butter in my hands. Um, they all are embossed with the, the IT logo on them. I don't know if you can see that. Just very, they took a, a, a nice step here. And all of these colors are going to work well on me. A lot of the neutral tones, which is what I gravitate towards. Nothing really frilly or fancy here, but the colors are beautiful and I will swatch a color uh, for you. Um, it's got Noir, which is a soft black down here for days when you don't want you know something so bold. This violet color is very pretty. It's a light violet mauve. And then let's do All Heart, which is a mauve color. And then let's do Java, which is very pretty. Again, I'm looking at that as my transition color. Here's what they look like on my fingers, just taking a little pressure and putting some on. And 
this is what they look like on my hands. So really pigmented. They're coming off very well. You can't see them too much on my skin because my skin tone is darker. But I'm very impressed. I'm very pleased. And then like I said, it's got this color down here called Transforming Pearl. Which you can turn all of these matte shades into a satin finish. And I'm really excited to try that. So that is this palette. And my palette collection is ever growing. I'm thinking about doing a palette collection video. Uh, let me know if you want to see that. Because I started collecting palettes in January and they've accumulated rapidly since then. If you want to see a palette collection video, let me know. Um, speaking of palettes, the next thing I got is the Lorac Pro To Go palette. Uh, in the interest of traveling and all this traveling I want to do in the near future, I thought this would be great just to throw in my makeup bag and use, you know, just as a, a one-stop shop. So this is the Lorac Pro To Go palette. Again, they got me when I felt the colors because they were so buttery. And that's a really big selling point for me. If you make eyeshadows, make them feel good too because people really do a lot of swatching and that's a selling point for people. I know I can't be the only one like that. But anyway, it's got a nice big mirror. I'll turn that over so you don't get blinded. But then here are the eyeshadow colors. And I can do a lot of looks with these colors. It's got the great big pearl and shell color, which are your satin finish and your matte finish highlighting shades. And then it's got um, Chai, Mink, Cafe, and Black. And they're very beautiful. Let me swatch those. And, oh, they feel so good. And again, you can do a lot of looks with these. And I do a horrible job of swatching, but you kind of get the point. They, they, they're they very pigmented. They go on very well. The color that sold me was Chai. And it is just a skin tone color for me. And, but it's got the shimmer. So it'll be really pretty on days when I want to just do a step above a natural look um, without too much effort. And then on the other side of the palette, so one side is the eyeshadow, on the other side or the back is the, the face colors. So you've got a blush, two blushes actually. This one is coming off really light, it's called color pink. And you've got coral, and you've got a bronzer. So, you know, you have options for your blush and you have the bronzer. If you want to use a highlight, you can go ahead and use one of these as your, your cheek highlight too. So it's got, it's also got, uh, let's see, a brush in there. And a, another brush. Two brushes in there for you to use. So that's what I got from Ulta. And then I also went to Nordstrom Rack. We have a new Nordstrom Rack here in Milwaukee now. And I watched a YouTube video and they said that they have makeup there so I decided to go check it out and I was able to pick up this package right here which is the Smashbox Best Sellers. I really was interested in the primer. I already have a full size primer and I love it so I decided to get this as a backup. This is normally $40 or $39 but I was able to get it at Nordstrom Rack for $19.97 and it includes the primer, the full size primer, plus a mascara, a lash primer, and a lid primer, and then a trio of eyeshadow. So let me just pull those out and show them to you. So here's the photo finish primer, which I love. It's very, very good. And then also, this is the eyeshadow quad. Or trio if I could open it up so it's a tiny little trio there but it's some cute colors that you know you you can do some things with and then it's also got a, and these are all really really deluxe size samples of the oops, photo finish lid primer so this is a ton of product. It's a really nice size sample. And then also the lash primer, which I'm really excited about that because I love lash primers. And up until now, I thought I could only go to MAC to get that. So I'll be loving to use, use this. And then the other thing that I said was in there was a full exposure mascara. So I got all those things for $19 and I thought that was a really good deal. 
So, that is all for my Ulta and other haul. I'll be back soon with another video. Until then, I hope you have a fabulous week. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.